Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and look what I've got today. The long awaited and much anticipated train and carriage die set from Tonic Studios. So if you've never been here before and you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share if you like and leave me a little comment and let me know what you think. So we'll have a quick look first of all at the die set and then um, Without further ado, I think I'll just get into making it. So it contains 60 dies and we just open it up and you can see right away there are the dies and there are the instructions. Um, I think it looks pretty straightforward but I'll not know until I get started. But anyhow, you can follow along and hopefully if there are any things that are difficult in it or any mistakes to be made, hopefully I'll make them first and you can avoid that. I should just say at the very outset of this that the die set is very limited stock at the moment. There are a lot of them sold when it was on the television launch and then now it has come to the Tonic website. 29th of August at 3pm is the first airing on the website but uh, you need to be really really quick to get one. But don't panic, if you miss the train this time it will be coming back again at a later stage and I will come back and let you know when and then you can check out the video. We'll have a really really quick look at the die set so you can see that there are lots of pieces that will be used to make this train up but different elements of it here that you could use for other things as well so we've got Christmas decorations there's holly, a little wreath, a bell, a stocking and a little cane and then some other decorations here little panels and all of these things can be used on cards and a little bow up here. Can you see that? Yep. So without further ado I shall just go and get some card and get cracking. These are the first parts that I need to cut out for the creating the train itself. So this is the main panel, the roof, the back panel, the front panel, the hexagon, the chimney and the top panel. So I have uh, just got them all onto the piece of 300 GSM ivory smooth card and I'll run them through the die cutting machine and get them ready. Now normally when I get to this stage I would cut out the decorative panels to go on the front here and you can see them in here but um, here and here and they would fit on these front pieces but I actually just want to go ahead first of all because I don't think that it's going to be very very difficult to get them in the right place afterwards and I just want to assemble this first. So I am going to add this little piece on this way. So what I'm going to do is add glue on this tab here, down there, and put this on. And then we can make this little part up. That just closes it all off together at the end whenever you fold all those other pieces in. Uh, you can probably see there that in between cutting those out and this stage, I've gone ahead with my little bone folder and burnished all those edges. So they're all already folded back and ready to roll. So there we are, that piece is added on and what we need to do now then is add glue onto these bottom tabs and this one and join them all around the bottom and assemble this little piece. So along here and here and here. Then we've got to put the roof on here so all these little tabs have got to be folded in nicely and keep them nice and flat across the edge here and some on here. Now the piece that I had cut out that I thought was the roof is actually too small so it's this panel, it's, it's a bigger one and you'll know it because it has this decorative piece inside so just bear that in mind that it's the bigger one and you've got it here, I've just cut it out already and I'm just going to shape that slightly I don't want to have it too curved but just a little bit because it has got to follow along these lines here and you want to centre that as well because it will overhang slightly. You can, I'll put it this way and you can see it better. Just ever so slightly off the edge there. So we'll put glue along here and along here and attach that one on. Now I'm 
I'm just going to take this little panel and I have burnished all those edges and fold them, folded them all and this one and I'm going to glue all of these tabs and put them on here and when I've done that I'm going to take this small chimney panel I've already burnished that and folded it all and glue this tab on here and then I have the two little hexagons and I'll glue one on the top and one on the bottom. go ahead with this little chimney and add glue onto the base of it and that will just get glued on here center that nicely and you can add glue onto these tabs and glue that onto there the little box kind of carriage without the roof on it then you take this die again and cut it out now there's really no point in cutting all of this piece because you don't need it that will be cut off so this piece was on the top of my paper anyway and uh, there were parts missing so what you need to do is cut it right across here from the top of these two tabs from one across to the other so essentially what you're doing is uh, there it was there uh, cutting what you can out of this and then you're trimming the top part off and you're left with this part that you can then burnish the side pieces put them all together and then you will have already cut another one of these and it just goes in exactly the same way you can actually fold it in below it doesn't really matter um, and put the back part on it will attach to these two glue tabs and you've got a little box carriage there it's very, very straightforward. You're just taking this piece off at the top. lots and lots of these pieces all cut out now to decorate the little train with so we have the plain dies I've cut that out in the bubblegum pink card and then I've got gold to go on top so I've used the plain one just for this and then I've actually used the two of them together to make the gold one and then on the little panel for the roof there you can see I have taken this die again the plain one and I'm backing that on so I'm going to glue this on top of here and then that will be my decorative panel for the little roof here. Those colours are really lovely together aren't they? And then I've gone ahead with lots of the other dies. You can see inside here are lots of pieces that you can cut out and I've cut them out here and uh, duplicated some of them in the bubblegum pink and I'm going to put them on and uh, I'll just start gluing. Now you can see, I'll just show you this little train first. Uh, because I didn't glue these decorative pieces on first, I'm not going to have a piece on this part below. But if you wanted to do that, you could go ahead and glue them on as you're doing that in the first place. And that would have that nice and ready. The little precision tip for the glue is actually absolutely perfect just for gluing these pieces together because it's so fine and the detail is so fine and you don't want any of that glue coming through. Especially if you're going to be using mirror card as I am doing here because you can add tiny dots on there and you know that it won't come through to the other side. I don't need to put it in every little piece but just enough to catch it here and there across and then we can pop that on there and then when that's grabbed, when the glue has grabbed then you can pop that onto the 
top of the little carriage. And that will go on there. You can see here how I've added this little gold piece onto the windows and then these pieces on here and I've die cut the bow. I, I did the background one in the gold and then put the pink one on top and I paper pieced those pieces back in and I've left that little piece out because I like that gold but I might actually put a crystal drop on that I'm not too sure at the minute. Now for these side panels here and here I have cut out the plain die in the gold and then I've used the two together in the bubblegum pink and you can see here uh, yeah you can see here I have taken all the pieces out of the the die there it is all these little pieces out and I want to paper piece them back in again uh, that it is a wee bit fiddly but it's just what I wanted to do you could leave it like this but uh, I thought it would be nice if I paper pieced them back in so I've laid them out as they came out of the die and I've got my nice fine nozzle on the glue here and I'm just going to paper piece those into this piece here. taken these little dies and you can see that I've already used the plain one to decorate this piece here and I've taken the two together and cut them out in gold and I can add the two gold ones then one here and one on the other side and then I've taken these two dies together I've cut one out in bubblegum pink and I have cut the two together in gold and glued them on top of each other and I've got this piece and that then can go onto the little back carriage on the back of it I've also taken this little die, I've cut it in gold and you can see there's a wee fold line across there so I have folded that and that is going to get glued up in here and isn't that just lovely and you can see there that I find a little sequin which just fits this perfectly, it just looks really lovely with it. Um, I'm not sure you might have it, it's spring rose. So I'll glue all this together then. I've covered this little end panel and the one on here with the bubblegum pink and each of the panels around this one with the bubblegum pink as well and then I've taken the same panel that I used for the, the sides of it and used this one inside it so that's the two of those together and gave myself this little gold piece and I've paper pieced those gold bars back into that again. Now I've just cut out these two pieces and I just want to check that I've got them in the right place first before I carry on. Now I have these two little dies. So I've cut this one out in black. And for the amount of carriages that I have here, I need 16 of these. So I've cut this out 16 times and this out in gold. And you can see there that you just glue one on top of the other. And again, this precision tip on the glue is really, really good for that. And then we go ahead when we've got that all done and attach them to the little carriages. We've got little bars to go across as well. So they're long ones and short ones. And I think the short ones are just for, uh, I'll show you them here. That's the short one and that's the longer one. And the short one goes on between the two wheels at the front here. And then you'll see that it's slightly longer here, so you'll need the longer ones for that and the rest of the carriages. Uh, 
that's all the pieces on and it looks really well and I actually really love that colour scheme. So I have used this little die that's in my hand and I have cut out gold pieces to join all these little carriages together and you can see I've already got one on here and on here and I'm going to put one on both ends of this little carriage in the centre. So I think the best way to join these is by uh, you could have them joined rigidly with one of these little pieces here but I thought I might like that to move a little bit but it's just a little bit fiddly but I'm going to try it anyway. So rather than join this on and try to get it down in there I'm putting a tiny little brad, you can just see all the size of it there I'm going to put it down through there and then down through the hole in that one and open that up See there, just move those little pins back and that's that joined. Now that means that that can move back and forwards and I can then glue that on there and do the same thing with the other one. And um, that's actually working better than I thought so. So there it is, all finished, my little choo-choo. And you can see that the carriages move back and forwards because I've used those little brads. Uh, everything's not just rigid and straight so we can sort of uh, move them around a little bit. And I suppose I probably could have done something really, really clever and made sure that those little wheels moved around. But I'm very happy with it just the way it is. So, um, now to think what I'll put in it. I have made this quite a feminine colour, it's really really pretty and uh, with a little bow on the front and all these little gold and ivory and uh, bubblegum pink pieces to it. So uh, don't forget that you could use this as intended on the pack with uh, lots, oh, I'll just show you it here, all these Christmas decorations. So we've got the holly wreath and then we've got some snowflakes and a candy cane and different bits and pieces with lights and whatnot and uh, that is absolutely beautiful a lovely little christmas carriage uh, and train set but for me this is what i wanted something nice and pretty and uh, now i just need to go and think what i would put in that but it would make a lovely gift or a lovely table center for a little party so thank you very, very much for watching. I really appreciate that and really appreciate it if you've hung into the end here because that was quite long. It actually isn't very difficult to make, just a little bit fiddly. And the fiddliest bit actually was just paper piecing this in because everything else was very straightforward. But if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. Leave me a little comment to let me know how you find it and uh, what colour scheme that you would like this in and how you'll be making yours. And... Um, it has been sold out as far as I know already as of today, the launch day, but don't don't worry, it will be back in stock and I think they're ordering plenty in so there should be plenty for everyone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that, hit the notification bell and share if you like as well. And my links to all of the products used will be down in the description below the video. So I really appreciate everybody who uses those. They're affiliate links, obviously, and uh, I get a little commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. And I really appreciate everybody who does that. And I also really appreciate everybody who takes the time not only to watch the videos, but to leave me a comment as well. So thank you very, very much. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.